Hello everybody, Zach here, and the title is not clickbait. I messed up, I racked, and um, to be clear, in real life, uh, and to not have this be clickbait, uh, it was on a stand-up scooter, a product that I'm reviewing, and uh, I messed up. So, if you expected this to be a regular mod showcase or a chase me, it's gonna be a little bit more talkative, and we're gonna be driving around in this, I mean, it's a pretty cool mod, <laughs> nonetheless. Uh, it's a go-kart and we're driving it where you shouldn't be driving it to be completely clear but even my guy is wearing gear now i also want to say wear your gear all the time and i did not so <laughs> i at l least wore a helmet and that i want to i want to kind of drill that home like draw that point home is that wear a helmet so um yeah the backstory here we're reviewing a scooter a stand-up scooter that's actually pretty powerful that's dual motor front and back and it even has modes it has a uh, one two and three mode quote unquote that are power mode as well as it has in addition to those types of power modes and how the engines well engines um little motors rev up it has uh the eco mode and then it also you can turn on one of the motor or have single or dual motor um so i was even in what was that trailer doing i don't know what that was about so i even had it in basically a lower mode and it was a stupid mistake it was basically a rookie mistake and i should know better from riding scooters as well as riding motorcycles and what have you and basically and you're going to see this in a future video um when i cover everything uh, but I, um, I went to go across the intersection and, uh, basically looked at a curb instead of where I should have been going, uh, which is one of the first rules of, you know, riding a motorcycle is you don't, you never get that, that kind of tunnel vision and focus on one point because that's where you end up going. That's where you end up pointing. And while it might be a little bit different on a scooter and a stand up scooter where you can look, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> where you can look um a little bit more freely and even you know on a on a motorcycle you don't exactly go where you're looking but you tend to um and that's how your your body works you tend to go where you're pointing so and uh and then i'm gonna whoa physics by nvidia okay so that's weird that's a weird part of this mod you think we can jump into the military base so yeah, this isn't really gonna, I don't even think I'm gonna be a, doing a chase me. This is a mod showcase, an actual mod showcase for once. It's, and this is pretty awesome. It's a go-kart and it's not, I don't think it even uses anything with the, the go-kart that was added into the game because that's not in 5M. And I was able to just bring this into 5M. Um, now mind you, I used a uh, converter to do this, but I'm gonna try to jump into the military base. Let's see if we can do it. Now the physics might be a little wonky. Okay couldn't jump into the military base <laughs> couldn't get enough speed oh my god i don't know what the physics are about when you're in the air to be fair this probably shouldn't be in the air okay we're gonna fix this thing though real quick before we hop back on that hop back on here oh my god get traction damn uh but what was i in the middle of actually saying uh yeah so like a really stupid mistake and uh i feel really bad um too because i'm i'm gonna try to get the parts uh to repair what i broke on this scooter like everything in terms of its build quality everything is fantastic and the two things that um that kind of broke were 100 percent my fault like i said uh so i'm looking to to buy those parts and replace them because that does not at all indicate the quality or you know the product itself and is only an indication of my mistakes so but luckily i am okay uh, road rash is basically all I walked away with and that's why I wanted to drill home the importance of wearing a helmet I have a helmet very similar to the one that my character is wearing I have a matte black helmet which by the way you should probably pick something that's a little bit brighter or has a little bit um, uh, more unique design than matte black but if it looks cool and I will say that if your gear looks cool and it makes you wear it great that I will say too so I'm gonna take this up on one of these back roads here to get a little bit of just check out the handling a little bit more. Um, so yeah, so wear your gear all the time. 
wear at least a helmet and you know i didn't need to be wearing a full face helmet but it's what i had and it's what i had my gopro um in, what do i have a hero session four um which is that little cube one it's what i had a mount on already and it just made sense to as opposed to wearing something else and i'm glad i did because there was it was actually a portion that would have been would have been my face basically that was that was on the ground at one point uh, and it was my helmet and my shield that actually took the brunt of that force. So that's exactly what that type of gear is for. Um, and uh, they included in this, I'm not even going to name it yet or anything, because, you know, I want to make sure that I am completely fair and I go through the process of getting all this stuff. And I want to, it to be a fair review process still, even with me being a stupid person. Um, <laughs> uh, they include like knee pads, uh, what knee pads? elbow pads and then the uh the wrist uh guards um you know the ones that you, if you went down it would it would it would protect your wrists uh and i wasn't wearing any of those and i literally knee elbow and wrist <laughs> literally that's the point of those pads right that's the point of why they make those things and uh if i would have been wearing them i would have been i would have been protected i even said to myself yeah i'll wear them definitely you know the first couple of times when you get familiar with it and I didn't. So all your gear all the time, right? That's the classic motorcycle thing, all the gear all the time. And uh, I I do believe it and I believe it more than ever now because this was on a, this was at a very slow speed and I got the road rash that I did that could have been 10 times worse. And yeah, it's not me colliding with something other than really the ground, falling onto the ground. So I will probably honestly buy better motorcycle gear after this because that was, like I said, slow speed and in a motorcycle, you're likely to be at a, a faster speed and with the potential of being hit or hitting a car or something else that is bigger and will do more damage. So I would say don't cheap out on that. That should probably be the thing that you don't cheap out on uh, out of anything in your in your repertoire, uh, right? Like it's specifically like the helmet. Um, it protects your brain. It protects your skull. It protects, um, I wouldn't say for some, it's for some people, their money maker, but <laughs> some people, it's not their brain. Some people, that's not their looks. <laughs> you gotta have something though, right? But you know, yeah, don't cheap out on that stuff and then wear it. Um, and like I said, if it me, if it needs to look quote unquote cooler for you to wear it then so be it, then do that. But yeah, I just wanted to basically talk about, I mean, this, that was my mistake. It was a stupid mistake and hope to not do it again. Um, I've never, I never really, and you know, it's been a long time since I really like, I don't know what skated in any way, either, you know, on ice or, um, never really skateboarded, but I'm familiar with like I said, this type of stand-up scooters, maybe not ones with the amount of power that this had, but like I said, this wasn't a moment of uh, whiskey throttle uh, or anything. It was a moment of, I was going across, misjudged, a bada bing, bada boom, I'm on the ground. <laughs> that's, that's the best way to put it. This is an awesome go-kart, by the way, and I'm sorry that this mod showcase is really me just talking about this, but I, it felt like it was something I needed to one kind of get off my chest and let you know you guys know about it and two it's going to be something that you see in an upcoming video too so you have something to look forward to <laughs> if, if you look forward to people crashing you have something to look forward to and uh yeah oh my god speaking of crash wow that was lucky all right i gotta get this go-kart on the road let's get this go-kart down to there's actually i got a racetrack in here that i think i showed at the end of one of my chase me's that i'm going to try to take this to so oh my god i keep talking about wrecking and look what i'm doing so let's get that down there and uh get in there but hey tell me if you've ever had one of those you know incidents where you've made basically a bad judgment call i know we've all not all but i know a lot of people have done that in cars right you know we just we like to say that we're quote unquote better drivers than what we are and i think we've also been on the receiving side of that too where people have done misjudged and then hit our cars even at a slow speed you know fender bender type stuff uh and fender benders can cause a lot more damage than just being you know fender benders anymore but uh definitely with the you know because i think the term comes from fender bender like literally the old chrome benders 
and them literally getting a little bit bent by two of those colliding as opposed to what most cars you know now you're talking paint there's sensors there's all this other stuff in a bumper and uh like don't get me wrong they do take a lot of impact still but they're not you know they're not what they quote unquote used to be and they're not just fender benders but yeah, let me know if you've ever had that kind of like lapse in judgment and you've had a wreck or even you know i know people that have basically uh laid their bike down but like at the slowest of speeds and i think that's honestly kind of really common definitely when you're starting out to have that happen um people putting it in their garage or whatever and then forgetting the kickstand or just coming to a stop a really slow stop and then just kind of like like forgetting about the weight of the bike if that makes sense and forgetting to to kind of stabilize it um you think we should do like a ridiculous speed with this i think that's what we're gonna do well when we get to the track we'll we'll, we'll turn it back down but i think this with a uh, ridiculous speed would be pretty great yeah what do you think 16 what do you guys think Oop, that's disabled plane turbulence oh yes oh yes Oh, and I thought I wasn't, I was just getting into accidents before by just being, it's nice though that this has the uh, level of grip that it does. Oh, Bridgestones. I hope these got, this has Bridgestones on it. Oh my God, we're doing 200 in this go-kart. Could you imagine? Oh, wow. It does have bridge stones, by the way. Oh, shit. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so we got to go down to the <laughs> the physics when you're in the quote unquote air. Okay, we got to hold on to this thing and get this down to the damn uh, racetrack, <laughs> if you will. Oh my God, the fact that, <gasps> whoa, that was surprising that I was able to hold that. <gasps> Wear your gear, kids. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it'll protect you against things like this. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to spawn in another one, aren't I? <laughs> All right, that's fine. We can respawn it. <laughs> oh, wear your helmet, dude. That's what I was saying. Okay. Um. Yeah, don't listen to this guy. Don't. Li and he's me, by the way. He's my, uh, my character. Don't listen to him. Yeah, for real. Uh, that's, you know, hey, but also it's all, it's on you. So what I mean by that is if you if you don't want to, um, where am I going? I got to go up here to go down to the wait. Did I? What am I doing? The dock, the docks. What am I doing? I don't know why I at all went this way. We're just going to we're just going to kind of cheat here to get there because I don't know what I was I was too hung up talking about what I was talking about. All right. Could not find a safe place. There it is. So we're on the track. We're going to have to put it back to normal power because, geez, I can't even get grip. All right. Let's see how this does around the track. Now, mind you, this is a drift track, but this actually would work for this. Maybe we should get this in, uh, in 5M and do it with the guys. I mean, this is in 5M, but... <laughs> Do a little go-kart race around here. That'd be kind of fun. You have to adhere to track limits, though. We'd have to get an FIA guy in here to do that. Oh, man. And actually, though, it feels weird to get that off my... It's weird. I don't know why I want to say, like, get it off my chest. But, I, yeah, I got it off my chest. That I... Made. You make mistakes. And you got to learn from them. Um, and I did. Because uh, it's, it's painful. As well as, like, dealing with <laughs> bandages. And when you tape up on your uh hair and you pull hair <laughs> it's almost more painful than uh yeah yeah it's not fun it's not fun but at the same time like it, you know i i fared well considering i uh oh what's his name uh ren uh of corridor digital um just today or yesterday he posted on instagram about or on social media about he got in a really bad wreck on his one wheel uh, and dislocated something, something with his shoulder blade or something, I think, maybe. And, uh, you know, he's very much so a uh, safe, quote unquote, safe rider. He does, uh, you know, one wheel, which is you have to have a lot of balance and you have to be good at, um, I'm not adhering track limits, uh, but you have to be good at, at 
kind of riding those um, and know your limits too. That's the other thing with anything, know your limits, uh, regardless of what that is. If that's driving a car, um, riding a motorcycle, riding a scooter, riding a bike, riding a, uh, you know, a powered bike, all that stuff. So you got to know your limits. Um, and I, I, I do believe that I do seems legit. I do believe that I do know my limits. I just made a stupid mistake and that's, that's just what happens. You have a lapse of judgment for a second and that's what happens. And I think that's even what Ren said in about his accident. You have a lot, you have to be a hundred, you have to be a hundred percent there. You can't be 99. And that's how people get into motorcycle accidents too. And not to say that every motorcycle accident is the fault of the motorcyclist because it's for sure not uh, all the time. But, you know, you have to be 100% there when you're operating machinery like that. And uh, you're not just fully encased by a, uh, a tin of metal, basically. And that's to say that car accidents are not serious things. They very much so are. Uh, but you are very much so, m you're more protected. I should say this would be I I'm got to go back to it. This would be really fun to do in uh, with the guys to go kart around here. That would be pretty fun. And I think that we're going to have to do that because this is great. I'm having a great time just driving around this and I actually honestly had a great time just kind of hanging out and uh, talking with you guys. And, you know, this is not my typical mod showcase slash chase me, but um it's probably going to go up with the title that, you know, I messed up, I wrecked, and uh, that it's also a mod showcase, basically, because <laughs> we didn't do a chase me, but if you still want to see a chase me of this go-kart, please let me know in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, nonetheless, even though it was kind of just me talking. Um, I mean, they all are, right? But I was talking about something that was, you know, more serious and more serious to me. Uh, and uh, like I said, wear your gear and be safe out there, because that could happen to you it's always the timing man the timing it's commentator's curse and that's honestly i will say that too it was commentator's curse with this i uh i snapchatted some people i'm gonna wreck this thing and what i do wreck it and then this is what happens too when i'm in here and i'm like hey be safe don't wreck what do i do what do i do in the damn go-kart i wreck it but this was fun guys and uh if you enjoyed that video and if you enjoyed this video Please like, please subscribe, and consider coming over to uh, Patreon slash uh, hitting that join button on YouTube. I'd really appreciate it if you did, and uh, you'll get early access to content exactly like this, and some behind-the-scenes stuff too, which is going to ramp up here even more so in the next week or so. So, I really appreciate you guys supporting me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh my God, don't crash it, Bobby. Oh, Bobby's going to crash it. See ya.